our call tonight. Um, I have Jade in the car. We just um, left the airport. We're on our way home, but we didn't want to miss this out. So tonight's topic is Cyprus. Um, we've pre-recorded it, so we got to. We still, you'll still see Jade's pretty face, and we have Debbie and Stacy helping us out with um, some technology stuff tonight. So we're really grateful for them. And I'll just turn the time over to Jade. She's just got back from Australia. She's going to give us a quick recap on her trip. Hi, guys. <laughs> and we are recording this. Yep. Everyone okay with recording this right now? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, awesome. Yes, I just got um, picked up from a 30-hour trip. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> sure. So uh, the trip in Australia was fantastic. The convention, they announced um, the lifelong vitality pack for all the Australians. So that was wonderful. Everybody was so excited. It's going to be a new oil that's going to come out. So I can't tell you what it is yet, but it's from New Zealand and it's amazing for brains. So um, just look forward to that. I don't know if it's going to be offered other places, but it'll be offered in Australia um, and uh, China first. So this is a special oil. Okay, so we had a fantastic turnout with the Aroma Touch training um, in Sydney. We had 25 people and uh, we just uh, everybody was uh, so fantastic. You know, just, they did so well and um, I was just so proud of them. Um, in two weeks' time, April 8th, in Beston, Florida, we'll have another Aroma Touch training. So if you're around town, if you're near, you're welcome to join us. If you are already certified, you're welcome to come and help us out. Or if you want to certify, um, you're welcome to go onto our website um, under events and register there. And then in June, we have an Aroma Touch training in Ohio. Yay! <laughs> So Desiree and Megan Mensa um, are organizing that. And um, the day before that, we are going to do a business training. And the day after that, we are going to do Oils of the Bible. So I look forward to that. I'm really excited to go back to Ohio and see all my friends again. So that's great. So now, two new people, I think. Um, we just want to start with a little bit of an intro, and um, I'm going to come over to Debbie. Uh, no, sorry, Debbie Westcott. <laughs> I'm just reading the names here. Debbie Westcott, um, and she'll just run us through a little bit of the introductory uh, before we just jump right into Cyprus. If that's okay with everyone? Yeah? Hey. All right. Okay, hey. Debbie Westcott, get away. <laughs> Share my screen cool. with everyone. Okay, can everyone see this? Uh -huh. Okay, I just need one yes and then I'm good. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, what are essential oils? I'm sure you're all wondering this amazing question. They are pure extracts from plants and they're usually 50 to 70 times more powerful than the herbs. So if you think about um, peppermint and um, peppermint tea, one drop of peppermint essential oil is equivalent to about 28 cups of peppermint tea. So you can imagine that concentration um, is pretty potent. Um, they are carefully steam distilled. And if you look um, at these pictures down here, you can see on the left this uh, peppermint leaf under, magne under a magnifying, um, under magnification, that's the word. And these little facts right here where the oil is carried. I like to think of the oils as the offense and the defense of the plant. And for me, that means a lot because we are carbon-based just like plants are. And if it can work for a plant, I believe it can work for me. Um, the great thing about the oils is that they're safe and they're effective and they're um, affordable, an affordable alternative to 
synthetic health remedies. For me, I consider the essential oils my health insurance. Does anyone have any questions so far? No? Okay. No. There, there are a lot of properties with essential oils. They work on the body, in the body, and around the home, too. So as you can see, like today, as a matter of fact, I have rose bushes in my backyard. And I just took a little mixture of water and peppermint and sprayed it on the leaves to help protect it against bugs. Um, I put peppermint oil in my hands and cup and breathe to help my respiratory system. And I've even used peppermint to help cool a sunburn, to help lower temperature, things like that. So it's, there are so many uses for essential oils. Okay, we're gonna scroll down. There's your 28 cups of peppermint tea as compared to one drop. And in each bottle, there's an average of about 250 drops. So you can imagine with one to two drops per application, you're getting quite a few doses of um, natural medicine. I guess we can call it natural medicine. Okay, how do oils help us? So um, many of us are learning more about alternative medicines and the essential oils I think are a great answer to that because I don't really, um, I prefer to use as natural, um, natural alternatives, as natural solutions as possible with my home and my family. So there's hundreds of compounds in each essential oil and they have a wide range of emotional and physical wellness applications. So I, I feel like when I'm putting them inside, their, inside my body, they're helping my body, but they're also helping my mind because I think when you're health, healthy, you're happy. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> Most definitely. Okay. Um, some people have never heard about essential oils, but in, in reality, they've been used for thousands of years for health, be beauty, and for food. So um, there's different grades of essential oils. We have a food grade. Um, and that's like your extracts and things like that for flavoring. And there is other types of essential oils that are used for like perfumes and, and cleaners and things like that. But we want the purest, most per potent ones. And so doTERRA has gone to great lengths to make sure that um, we have the best of the best. So let's, when we talk about, if you look at this little cell um, diagram here, if we, um, Talk about viruses and bacteria. A lot of times when you go to the doctor and they're wanting to, um, and you go and they say you have a virus, what happens? Do they give you medication? No, sometimes. For a virus? A virus has to sometimes run antibiotics. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. I just said a virus has to run its course. Yeah, that's what they tell you most of the time. And you think, some people just think you're helpless. Well, with the doTERRA essential oils, we can be proactive, right? And right. we can use essential oils to help shorten um, the length of illnesses and lessen the severity of them. That's at least what I find with my family is that, when I've used the essential oils for situations like that, I usually see a marked difference within 12 hours. Would you agree, Stacy? Most definitely. Okay. So how do we use them? So they can be used aromatically, and this way you would put them in your hand or on your body, and then you would rub together and inhale, or you can actually purchase a diffuser 
which uses water and you add essential oils to it and then it diffuses into the air. Why is that beneficial for us, Stacy? If you have respiratory problems and things like that, it's, it's gonna come into your lungs, it's gonna go through your throat, it's gonna help us, um, you know, help open up those airways so it helps medically, but then if you're if you're doing it for just like your mood or other things, it's it's also going to do it through diffusion and it's going to uplift you. Yeah, I I like to to think about those little molecules going through the air and helping to clean the air too. To me, that makes a big difference. I used to run a daycare in preschool, and I had, you know four to six kids here every day. And I would run that diffuser every day and the kids were the healthiest they had ever been. And the okay. yeah, I, know some, I know some teachers um, and they are using the diffuser around the flu season. It's going around in Florida and they're diffusing um, one of the ones like the on guard to help, you know, build up your immune system so that the rest of the kids aren't getting sick because in a classroom, everybody catches everything, especially in kindergarten, younger ages. Right, right. I know. I still have parents that call me now and say, we miss you, Debbie. My kids are so sick now. And they never, you know, they rarely were when they came here. So it was awesome. Okay, let's go to internally. So you can add um, oils to your water um, or you can use a veggie cap, which is an empty capsule that you just open in half and you drop oils into it, close it up and take them internally. Um, I also make sprays, like a throat spray, um, and different things like that where I use essential oils internally that way. So those would be for your digestive system, your mouth, your throat, and your organs. And then topically, I, when I think of topically, I, I think of location of pain, or I think of the reflex points. So we have lots of um, large pores and reflex points on our feet. So that's probably one of the most common places to put essential oils. Um, you can also put them on your, on your neck, on your wrists, on your forehead. Don't get too close to your eyes. Um, and on your tummy. So I just think of if there's a locational, you know, a pain in a location, that's where I'm going to put an oil, okay? Or if it's just to be uplifting, you can use it even on a diffuser, or I just put it on my chest, and that warmth there from our bodies just helps diffuse that and encourages um, us to be happy or calm or, you know, whatever it is that we need. And... What we were pointing out before with that cell is also that when you apply the oil, um, either topically or if you drink it, um, take it internally, you'll get relief quicker. Like that's why it helps cut the cold, you know, the virus time and everything because it gets through your bloodstream. And I know my son has migraines or we've had a sore throat and just applying it instead of waiting for 30 minutes to start feeling better, um, you know, our sinuses or our migraine, it, it's literally just a couple minutes and you start to have the relief already because it goes through the bloodstream and it goes directly to the, the part where you're feeling the pain. So it, it's safer and quicker, um, you know, than stuff at the drugstore and everything. Right. Over the counter medications. I, yeah. I think the one thing we should probably note here is that Viruses live on the inside of the cell, at least this is what I've been taught. Maybe Debbie Gordon can confirm for us. Bacteria lives on the outside and medications often cannot penetrate that cell wall, but the, but the essential oils, because of their molecular size, they can penetrate that cell wall and actually give it a tool for that cell to begin to heal. And once it, you know, once that happens, it just keeps doing Duplicating over and over again. Debbie, would you say that that's fairly accurate? Very nice, Debbie. Ab absolutely, that's correct. And okay. now I just was just talking to a gal today, and she was wanting to do some research on the blood brain barrier and how essential oils readily cross the blood brain barrier. And it's back to that molecular size 
yeah. and the oils that allow it to do that. And so the beauty of essential oils is they are cellular nourishment. In fact, they cross the cell membrane to literally nourish that cell. And exactly. you nourish the cell, the body uh, does the job magnificently. Awesome. And if everyone doesn't know, Debbie is a nurse for how many years? 32. 32 years. <laughs> so I think she's kind of an expert there. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> okay, so here's a recap of how to use all the oils. And we're going to keep rolling down. So let's talk about purity, potency, and concentration. Um, so a lot of the oils are very um, potent and need to, some of them need to be used with a carrier oil. We have hot oils like oregano and even lemongrass, thyme, cinnamon, cassia, and there are several more. And those, because they are what we call hot oils, they can be a little bit caustic to the skin. So adding that carrier oil just kind of helps slow that uptake and helps us avoid any um, issues with skin sensitivity. But there are many oils that you can use neat, which means that you don't need a carrier oil. Um, and each bottle will tell you, has like a little key on it that tells you how to use that essential oil. Um, Plus, you can look at your Modern Essentials book, which is a great resource to find out um, how to use those essential oils. So, are they safe for babies? Are they safe for your children? Debbie? I keep muting myself because I do have some background. <laughs> here, so, <forgive> me. <laughs> But I really embrace doTERRA for the, for the understanding that they were safe for my birthing clientele. And so I've worked with mothers and babies for 32 years. And I love that we have a safe product. And I look at you mothers, and this gives me great joy tonight to have you, Debbie and Stacy, doing this class tonight. So, um, but I look at you mothers and I think, where would we be had we not had these oils? Now, I didn't have these oils, but for the last six, seven, excuse me, the last seven years, my oldest is 21. And these essential oils make parenting so much easier. And Chelsea who is expecting her very first baby right now, is in for a wonderful, wonderful journey to start her family this way. And that is such a huge blessing, ladies and gentlemen, because I just don't worry when my children get sick. My son came to me tonight after a little injury in PE, and he said, Mom, look at this, his ankle, he probably turned his ankle. And he says, what do I do on it? And I, or what do I put on it? And immediately he came to the table to my oils, and he opened them up and said, Mom, what do I put on this? And I said, try some lemongrass, try some deep blue, try some aromatized. What do you want to put on there? And I, you know, I put out some options for him, but pretty much I let him do the trick. Do the trick. What's the trick? You got to open the bottle and use it. You got to open the bottle and put it on. Right. And it works so beautifully. It's so, so simple that you can teach children this. And children do not lie. These, yeah. these products are not just a, a placebo effect. And children let us know and they come back for more. And so I love that my children are learning how to do this themselves and learning to listen to their intuitive voice. I love, love, love that piece. So I don't really have to tell them what to do now. I'm still giving my youngest ones solutions. But my oldest ones can look it up and pretty much they know the oils well now. And they can just come and get what they need. Isn't that beautiful? I had my nephews over today and one of them, he's barely three, and he got scratched by the dog, and what might normally be, you know, 15-minute ordeal with him crying and being sad, as soon as I said, Ben, would you like to put some oils on that? Yeah, the crying stopped. He was comforted. The owie went away. It didn't bother him. I mean, it literally seconds, and he was done, and I think that's really what Debbie's alluding to when she talks about making parenting easier um, in, in one instance. So for that, I mean, I just think about them and I think, what did I do before them? <laughs> what did I do before essential oils? This is really just the way to go for me. Okay, so we talked about purity. So doTERRA goes to great lengths to find, um, to actually distill and care for the oils that come for the plant from the plants. 
So the plants are free of pesticides and um, toxins or fillers and things like that. So it's really great to know that that's a priority to doTERRA. And of course, we've talked about their potency. That means that they're effective. They're gonna work, like we've explained in a few situations that often you'll see a difference within a few seconds. Um, and to me, that's really comforting and empowering. And then the concentration, we've touched on that too. So one drop of lemon oil costs about eight cents. If you think about that for adding to your water, helping to cleanse your organs and your blood, helping to um, protect your body, improve the immune system of your body. I think that's pretty affordable. Okay. Does anyone have any questions so far? Or comments? That's fantastic. I, I totally agree with um, Debbie, both Debbie, <laughs> about um, the mother's job being much easier. Um, you know, just understanding a little bit more about oils every time we learn makes, you know, it gives us all more, all the more skills to, to find, um, to assist our family. That's fantastic, Debbie. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. So, so I think we can get straight into Cyprus now. Okay. I'm going to yep. stop. Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks, Debbie. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to switch the screen, everyone, to go to. Okay. So for those people who are new uh, to doTERRA or just learning, um, if you are not a doTERRA member, it's very simple to get a wholesale membership. It's only $35. If you buy a starter kit, one of the enrollment kits, your membership is waived and you can get started right away with the wholesale prices of the popular oils. Um, so just talk to whoever invited you and um, you can start that way. Uh, but tonight, we have a little video that I made before I left, just in case I, I couldn't um, make it onto this call. Uh, so it's just good to, to listen to it anyway. Um, about Cypress. Has everybody experienced Cypress oil before? Yes. Yes. Okay. Are there anyone here that hasn't experienced Cypress? I have not yet. Okay. So that just is uh, uh, I can't see who said that. <laughs> That's Chelsea that Jane. Chelsea? She's on here for the very yep, first okay. time. <laughs> yeah. And Chelsea, this is gonna be your friend. This is gonna be your friend, I think. <laughs> Good to know. So that'll be fantastic. Yes, you really appreciate this. Um so Everybody else experienced um, Cyprus, right? Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. So um, just to add a little bit um, to this before we start the video, yeah, are you que queuing it up, Debbie? Yeah, I'm ready when you're ready, so. Uh, okay, fantastic. Um, one thing that you'd, you'd love about this oil, um, Chelsea, is it's great for water retention. And sometimes we get that towards the end of our pregnancy. Um, but, you know, you can use it to massage your legs and elevate your legs. And it gives you a lot of comfort. So we'll, we'll just um, play the video. And Debbie, um, you're welcome to pause it at any time. And guys, if you want to ask questions or make comments, just go ahead and speak. And we'll pause the video because it's short. It's actually about seven minutes or so. Um, and uh, then we can make it, we can discuss because we have a lot of people with experience here on the call and um, so we can teach each other. All righty, Debbie. Okay, I'm ready. Can everyone see? Yes. Okay. Hi guys, it's Jade. It's my last day here in Australia. 
and I will be on the plane when we have our call on Cypress Oil. So what I want to do is just to record this um, so I can share with you a little bit of information about the Cypress Oil. Now Cypress Oil is an amazing oil. It's very powerful. It, you know, C for Cypress. I want you to remember that. Um, C for circulation. So Cypress is for circulation. So this is an easy way to remember what it does. So it allows things to flow and have motion. So it's derived from an evergreen tree. And, you know, Cypress is amazing oil that could help your body uh, do a lot of uh, shifting. So I have here, I'm just looking here at um, the uh, post that I'm going to put up very soon. Um, so the very first thing, physically, Cypress helps you um, with exercise. So prior to a long run, you want to dilute the Cypress oil and rub it on your legs and your feet. Uh, so that you can be more energized and it helps to reduce the occasional cramping. Okay, it helps with the blood flow. Cypress helps with uh, respiratory support too. So if you can mix lime and cypress oil together and just inhale, it helps open airways. It's another oil um, blend that you might want to consider because sometimes we use the same old blend for the same old problems. Um, but sometimes a different blend will go in and help with the same issue, but from a different angle. So then you get this uh, help from um, a different pathway. So that's really invigorating. The lime and the cypress oil is very, very good. Um, and then for the problems that are very persistent, that's ongoing, that you might have some specialized labels for, um, the doctors might have, give you chronic blah, 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 you know, anything to do with the lungs, you might want to add cypress, myrrh, and wild orange together, equal parts, and rub it on your chest, your back, and the bottom of your feet. You might want to do that in a diffuser too, and do it regularly. Okay, so it can shift and move all junk out, open your lungs, open your airways. So that's for the persistent respiratory support. Okay, another fun thing you can do for people with oily skin and oily hair. So first of all, oily skin, you can add one or two drops of cypress oil in your moisturizer and you can rub it on your face. Um, you can actually put one or two drops in, uh, of cypress in your shampoo and then wash your hair so that you don't have to wash it every day. A lot of my friends are really excited that they can you know, leave their hair for two days or more um, without having to wash it because they use the cypress and it balances the oil production that comes out through your, your pores. So that's amazing. Okay. The other thing okay, I get you want to pause that? Cypress is... Yeah. Yeah. So did everyone, can everyone hear properly? So far? Yes. Okay. Because it's, uh, it's a static key for us, but it doesn't matter because we're on the road. Um, but as long as everybody can hear it, that's fantastic. Does anyone want to uh, comment or ask questions so far? I'll add something, something that I personally use it for. I've got a few years on the rest of you. And so I love to use frankincense and cypress around my eyes to help soften these bags under my eyes. And it's great. When you <laughs> said C for circulation, keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's also one of my <laughs> companion oils with basil and marjoram for reducing inflammation. So anytime we have some discomfort, very often... There's an inflammatory factor, and cypress is one of my very favorites mixed with marjoram and basil for that support. So, Jade, I love what you're doing here. Thank you. Fantastic. I just have some friends that um, just don't want to wash their hair every day, and they just tell me that this works really well, and they, they get so excited about it. It's something that I'm not really um, you know, concerned about, but they, they find that that's why I had to put that um, about the overproduction of oils on the skin and on the scalp on there too so I don't know if it's interesting for everybody else but um yeah that was good for some of my friends it's a great oh, yeah. ad for deodorant and so yes, yes, I, never, I never thought about it on my scalp 
but it sure yeah. takes out yeah. your voice now. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So cypress and coriander are great oils for um, just overly, I guess, sweaty. Um, if we have a tendency to overly sweat, that helps with that too. So interesting. All right, let's uh, continue on if that's okay with everybody. Good. It helps with varicose veins. So you can have cypress and helichrysum. Some people add winter green to this. Um, for me, just I like to just try a few oils because sometimes those few oils work just as well. Okay, so cypress, um, two to one. Okay, cypress and helichrysum, two to one ratio. Rub it with the fractionated coconut oil and then rub it into the areas of concern. Basically, it helps with um, new nerve um, production. So it's it's called angiogenesis. It encourages angiogenesis. So we get new nerve tissues and it allows your blood to flow and carry nutrients to the extremities. So your, all, your whole body will be able to receive more nutrients when your blood flows more efficiently. And to encourage that, you can actually exercise, get your body to move for more than 20 minutes Okay, so that your blood is circulating all over. Okay, that will encourage the circulation too. For the very first veins, just do that morning and night for several months and you should notice a difference. The other one is hemorrhoid relief. We had some family members um, report some fantastic results here. Uh, one, my uncle had uh, hemorrhoids for years and years and years, uh, almost 40 years for him. And, um, you know, you can actually apply it directly. It's not a hot oil, so you can do that. But for some people that are sensitive, they might um, want to dilute it with fractionated coconut oil. Or you can actually do an Epsom salt soak. So fill up your bath, not very full, with warm water. And um, two, one to two tablespoons of Epsom salt. You know, mix it in there so it's all um, dissolved and then put your cypress oil on yourself, on your skin, and then you can soak in there, okay? And sit in there for a while. Do that on a regular, consistent basis. With anything with the oils, don't expect it to work immediately. Um, sometimes it does, and that's awesome. But for things that are being, uh, you know, a concern for you for a while, you want to give it time and you want to, uh, you do it consistently to allow your body to metabolize and to use the oils, okay? Because we're looking at a cellular health um, and we're helping the cells function as it should, okay? The other thing I like about um, Cyprus is it helps with water retention and swelling. Um, so if you want to massage Cyprus on your legs, because usually that's where we're, we're swollen, um, or other places too, you massage on your legs and then elevate your legs for a few minutes. And, um, you know, stay there as long as you need to. And so the water can um, flow. You know, the Cypress tree, it grows really well in areas where there's a lot of water. So it's an you know, amazing water bender. That's what I imagine it to be. Okay, another fun thing is for long car rides, it's your bladder support. So you rub <laughs> cypress oil, just a couple of drops on the lower abs to extend that bladder so you don't have to uh, go potty so often. So now cypress for the mind. It's actually very stimulating for the brains. Um, it can help you release the feelings of fear and it helps release feelings of perfectionism and rigidity and feeling stuck tense. Okay, Cypress helps with um, feeling more flexible, trusting and flowing with life and being adaptable and it helps with emotional growth. Okay, warning for you is if you use way too much Cypress, you might have an emotional catharsis. It's when you have just emotional um, breakdown and you cry or you just feel so emotional. In that case, use less of it, but just allow it to pass. Deep breath in and release. Deep breath in and release. Okay? Spiritually, Cyprus is amazing at helping you 
I'm going to stop right there. Does anyone have any comments or thoughts about the circulation or about the emotional aspect of using Cypress? I used Cypress to help my bladder and I did it for quite a while. And um, the emotional thing did happen. I had to remind myself why, <laughs> but um, I just, it just, uh, I had like a release of different things and, um, and that, that was, I was realizing that it was a lot of cleansing because I was no longer having, um, some of the things that were going on with my bladder and, um, the frequency stopped and all that. So I was realizing, oh, it's getting better. And that's part of the clearing. And so, you know, it all kind of happened at once. I, I was going to comment wow. that. Sometimes when you're feeling, even when you're feeling stuck, like you just can't get past something, using the cypress in my experience helps bring the emotions to the surface. So in, in a good way, using cypress will help us work through those things, bring them to the surface and allow us to release them. So that's what I wanted to share. I have a question. Yeah. So is that safe to use down there, like near your bladder while you're pregnant? Yes. I would is. assume it is, but I figured I'd ask. <laughs> good question. Yeah, very good question. And so it, it really is. Now we got to understand too, that when you're pregnant and that baby's using your bladder as a pillow and you still may have frequency of urination, <laughs> you not take all that away during pregnancy. But it is my oil of choice for bedwetting to extend that bladder and help them hold their bladder a little better. And I won't say it works 100% of the time because sometimes there's an emotional factor that we have to unravel and undo. But it's a fabulous oil for that purpose. And I wanted to say something more about hemorrhoids. You know, obviously in the baby business, um, we see hemorrhoids all too often. And um, there's a way to prevent that. And I can certainly make another class out of that, but I won't tonight. Um, but I will say that these cypress for hemorrhoids, sometimes you need a little lubrication to get push those hemorrhoids back up inside. And so don't be afraid to use your fractionated coconut oil along with the cypress to do what we call reducing those hemorrhoids, pushing them back up inside and squeezing down on them. Uh, maybe too much information, I'm not sure, but <laughs> there's the, the labor and delivery nurse in me coming out, okay? So mm -hmm. anyway, it's a great, great help for also any kind of swollen vessels in your legs. Anytime you have any kind of varicosities. Boy, when Jade talked about the tub soap with Epsom salts, that's my first thought is those swollen legs, swollen achy legs, and very often with the, him, with the varicosities. And certainly if anybody has vaginal varicosities um, during pregnancy, that's number one, get in that tub soap with that Cypress and Epsom salt. Uh, I could talk on that, I, I will sign up. I will let somebody else talk. Thank you. Thanks, Deb. So oh, good, Debbie. Okay, are we okay to continue? Yeah. Okay. With um, flowing, letting go of fear, which is not faith, okay? Allowing you to have more faith and just going with emotion, going what comes your way and changing. Sometimes we want to stay in a place so we can figure all of that out. What's happening? I don't know. I'm not understanding at all. What Cyprus does for you is it says, hey, don't you worry. You know, just keep moving ahead. You'll figure out what it all is all about soon. You put the pieces together very soon. Just trust. So with the Cyprus, it's a relief of inertia. Okay, it helps you. If you add a little bit of ginger to it, it helps you feel strong, flexible, and trusting, and able to adapt. Because when we trust in the universe, we will find that our faith will grow and that we are actually safe, that we're actually finding our happiness. Okay, so I love Cyprus, and I see a lot of people that were stuck in their own rut stuck in their own right they're really pushing hard to change but they don't know how because they're holding on to that fear and cypress says let go 
just let it go. Don't need to figure it all out. Just let it go. And you know, that's amazing. Okay, it's just a really strong oil for that. So it stops you from overthinking. Because what happens when we stay stagnant, we overthink and then we create what fears we think about. So you're creating all the nasties that you don't want to create, but because you've paused and stuck, you actually create this because you spend so much time worrying about those things that you're worrying about. Like, okay, the purpose says, come on, keep going, keep going. Don't worry about it too much, too much. Okay. <laughs> So that's cypress oils, guys. Um, you know, I love cypress. There's so much to talk about with cypress. It's in the rubber touch oil. But it basically, it's a relax, let go, and go with the flow oil. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I welcome any questions or comments. Um, so you're welcome to email me and text me. Um, and uh, I look forward to speaking you to, to you again next time. Bye for now. Bye, Jade. <laughs> well, Jade. <laughs> I want to say one comment about the stagnation. Anytime you see that physical stagnation of varicosities, okay, there's the, the, the emotional effect of the oils is, is just such a huge dimension of this whole piece. And there's always a correlation between the emotions, the spiritual, and physical. What's going on? That word stagnation. Think anytime you got blood stagnating, not moving, what else is going on physically, emotionally, spiritually? Wow. I'm here getting heat tonight because that's exactly how I've been feeling. And here I am pulling out my cypress right now and feeling like the tears are literally coming to the surface right now. So, I need. Oh. I needed that reminder. It's, it's for all of us, isn't it, Debbie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for all of us. But it's when you, you get frustrated because you're thinking, why am, not, am I not moving ahead as fast as I would like? And sometimes it's that frustration that's reminding you, hey, I'm holding on to something. <laughs> yeah. And my daughter and I... Um, my daughter's been going through a lot and working with a lot of um, things, anxiety and all. And one thing is we're both overthinkers. <laughs> and, um, and so when you're depressed and you are just sitting and you're mulling things over, it really did let us one, let go and two, to stop thinking and, and overthinking and wondering if you did something or didn't, you know, how to do it. It, it kind of just, settles that and lets you feel um, secure and safe that like, okay, just, I did it, move on with it. And you know, the next thing will come. So it, that, that end part was like right on. <laughs> you know, like faith is to, to believe something that you don't see or you don't have all the information about, isn't it? So if it's not faith anymore, if you know everything about everything, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Cypress is really good for, for that. Well, I think we're done for today. Anybody else want to say anything? No? Okay, so why don't we end this call here? I, oh, I think I have access. Yeah. All right, so we're going to end the recording. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jade. Thank you. Um, wait a minute. I'll just end the recording. Where is that button? Stop recording. There we are.